Hey guys, it's Bonds, and since this channel is becoming more meme-centric recently, I've gotten used to finding the more weird video topics. It's just the nature of the internet to be more experimental, and its humor is no exception, especially recently. But every once in a while, I find topics so riddled with irony and purposeful confusion that it genuinely lowers my faith in humanity. And nothing makes me feel what's to come quite like cursed images and the video phenomenon known as Bonfire Meme Mashup. Bonfire was a single released by Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover, on September 17th, 2011 for his debut studio album. Before this, Glover was mainly known for his work on television, with him being a writer on 30 Rock and a main cast member of Community, but the release of his album made him explode in notoriety and truly cemented himself as the jack-of-all-trades we know him as today. But let's be honest, if you've developed object permanence, then you know who Donald Glover is. I only mention him because he's our last anchor to reality as we get to the real meat of this video. Bonfire has been used as a main source in online remixes for years now, specifically in the mashup communities on YouTube and SoundCloud. And as you may know, I am a big fan of these remixes. So much so that I've made a second channel dedicated to my own that you should definitely subscribe to. Please, I've been at 50 subs for months now, I'm getting very desperate. So as someone who's a fan of both mashups and Glover's work, it would be safe to assume I'd eventually look up Bonfire Mashup on YouTube. And while I did find some of what I was looking for, I also stumbled upon a series of videos that I did not expect to see. Okay, it's childish, can't be no homegirl, drop it like the Nasdaq. Move white girls like this coke up my ass crack. These are videos simply known as Bonfire Meme Mashup, named after the accompanying music. I assume the intent of the naming convention is to confuse people like me who stumbled upon them looking for real mashups, but I don't really know for sure since there's barely any information on these videos online. The earliest of these videos that are still public was uploaded to YouTube on February 25th, 2018, and a majority of it consists of a slideshow of cursed images sync to a remix of Bonfire. Now usually after I say something like that, I go on to explain what a cursed image is, but there's no real way I can, and that's by design. Cursed images just have that aura to them that renders them unexplainable, but people still enjoy looking at them and sending them to their friends with no context. But if you tried to ask someone why they like them, or to explain why people started latching onto them, they wouldn't be able to tell you. There's just something about the absurdity and lack of context within the moments captured that draws users in, especially today when the entirety of the internet is drowning in five layers of irony. It just goes to show you how really anything can be considered funny online nowadays, even if it makes no sense. For the most part, this video topic is fairly straightforward. They're basically just glorified meme compilations with a mashup of Bonfire in the background, but upon doing an unnecessary amount of research on a frankly uninteresting topic, as one does in my field, I came across a lot more information regarding the meme, and more specifically the creator of the song itself. Meet Elijah Hu, a famous lo-fi hip-hop beats to relax and study to artist who occasionally dabbles in meme remixes. He created the song, titled Don't Forget to Feed Your Neopets, around the time of Bonfire's peak as a remix source. It quickly became one of his most popular videos, presumably due to the meme. And for those wondering, yes, Elijah was very aware of the meme, and was even quoted as saying, Stop making this song semi-popular. But wait a second, Bronze. Why aren't you showing the actual comment? And why is the video you're showing not from Elijah's channel? Well, I'm glad you asked, popular YouTube personality XO plays. The original upload of the remix has been sadly deleted, along with 18 million views worth of Elijah's catalog at the start of 2019. Elijah said it was due to a mass amount of seemingly flawed copyright claims on a lot of his older content, making him ineligible for monetization. Man, isn't YouTube just the greatest video? video sharing platform with a monopoly on the concept so we're stuck with them doing whatever they want since there's no competition to drive away to in the event that their practices are hindering the growth of creators of all time? The deletion also conveniently happened after a big change in branding, from Elijah Who to Say So, along with a shift in direction for Elijah's music. But all in all, it was still deleted, and it's always sad to see popular remixes like this inevitably disappear due to the faulty copyright system. Now there's something that's been bothering me since the start of this video. This trend labels itself as meme mashup, and now we know it's ironic, but the song was made by a legitimate remix artist, so it's safe to assume that it's actually a mashup. But what is it a mashup of? Well, I mean, obviously Bonfire, that's his whole namesake, but I'm talking about that instrumental. It isn't anything I recognize, and I regularly listen to Green Day, so you know I'm a music expert. So with that being said, what is that song? 
and why is it so boppin'? Now with the general sound of the instrumental, I would assume it's ripped from a popular trap song, which is also a running trend in the mashup community. And upon further digging through Elijah's portfolio, I finally discovered what I was looking for. It's the song I Loved It from an artist named Shaddai, and if you listen closely, and a couple homies that are right till my last night. Even if I had like you can easily discern that this is the instrumental we're looking for, albeit with some minor structural edits for the remix. Well there we have it, our question was answered, our time was wasted, and a useless tangent is finally concluded. Right? Well, not quite. Although yes, this is indeed the same instrumental as in the mashup, the song was released a few months after the trend started gaming Steam, and the producer credit for this song is Elijah himself. So if this was released before this, and this is the only mainstream song that uses this instrumental, then this could only mean one thing. No. Wait. Does that mean... This isn't a real mashup at all? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a real emotional roller coaster this one. But anyways, I think it's admirable that Elijah went a little bit further with his remix by making an original instrumental instead of just putting bonfire over some pop instrumental he found online like everyone else does. And I assume people thought it was a mashup because it was freebooted and people saw it without context and just assumed it was a mashup because that's what bonfire is known for. God, people on the internet are just so dumb. Why can't they just put way too much effort into researching an obscure YouTube meme that was dead before it was even created like I do? But that's all I can really say about this song. There wasn't some inspirational story about the artist, or some hidden backstory that's surprisingly deep about the song, or really anything important about its production at all. Honestly, I only made this video so that I could shed some light on this short-lived meme that I found interesting, plus give a little bit of perspective on my research process for these videos. And despite the general pointlessness of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this little niche meme as intriguing as I did. So with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.